So when you're hunting in parks here, here's a little tip for you guys who hunt in parks. And whenever you see those barbecuers there, there's usually a lot of bottle caps, but there's jewelry around here too. And if you don't, if you don't hit them every once in a while, it's going to be overwhelming how many freaking bottle caps collect over a period of time. And it makes it harder to hit on those piece of jewelry. So what I do is when I come around one of these, these barbecuers or a picnic bench, I'm going to pick up those bottle caps that are on the surface. If I can see them, I'm going to pick them up because it just, it's going to take me more time to extract them out when they sink in the ground. If I can see them on the surface, I can get them out in less than a second, right? I've already picked up quite a few of them, right? All right. What makes it easier is if I have a magnet on my shovel here, right there, see that, watch. I'll just pick that up. All right. Here's another one, right there. Another Corona, right there. Right on the surface. There's two bottle caps. Right, if I don't pick them up now, they're gonna sink in the ground and it's gonna take me a lot longer to get them out. Right. Another one right there. It's in there somewhere, right there. My magnet's not very strong on this, on my, on the end of my, there's another one right here. Right there. There's another one right there. Another one right there. If I don't do this, this stuff is going to sink in the ground, and I don't want. I don't want. I really don't want to dig these out of the ground. Right? I want. I want to pick them up right now, because I know there's jewelry around here. I've found jewelry many times over here. Right? Right? You just got to do the work. You got to do the freaking work. See, somebody had a party here. They could. They just disregard. Disregard. There's a pull tab right there. I can see a pull tab around the ground. I'll pick that up. Okay. See this? See? There's another one right there. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. It just makes it that much easier to detect if you get all this stuff off the surface here, if you can see it, right? There's a quarter right here. I think it's a quarter. I don't know. Come on. I won't be able to get it out with my hand digger. The ground's too hard here. It sounds like an overload. There's so many bottle caps here. A quarter. Order. right there to get this stuff deeper in the ground there's no way you're going to be able to penetrate the ground if all that stuff is on the surface right you got to dig the bottle caps out man the more years you get experience the more you'll understand what I just said the people who want who want to get the jewelry out, they know you gotta dig the trash out. The pull tabs, the bottle caps, some of the foil, most of the can slaw has gotta come out of the ground. If you don't dig that stuff up, you never know what's underneath that stuff. And you'll never know. Because you let places like this go, it'll be just be covered in I mean just hundreds and hundreds of bottle caps. You know, I'll, I'll come by here and pull out all the bottle caps every once in a while. And then once I get all the bottle caps cleared out, dig up a few coins, then I'll come through here and start dropping my tone break down or digging lower, lower conductive targets, right? The coins are pretty easy to hit on, you know, once you get all the bottle caps out, all the, all the, most of the trash out, the coins, 
the higher conductors are easy to get but really where there's rings here i just found a ring um right up there just uh three hours ago right over there right on the surface right and if i if i don't pick these bottle caps up now they'll sink in the ground and then i'll have to dig them out and if if i don't dig out these pull tabs now i'm gonna have to eventually come back and dig those pull tabs out right you, you know what i'm saying right and if i spend if i spend 10 or 15 seconds on this target here you know I'm like uh should i should i dig it out I'll try this one here. Uh, should I dig it out here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. There's just too much trash here, right? There's too much trash here to... See, look at all this foil, right? Just massive amounts of foil here. But there's a target right here. But if I don't dig this stuff out right now, um and it is junk, I'm still gonna have to come back to this target and spend just a, the same amount of time and maybe even pass it up again, right? I don't wanna do that. Oh. It's layers, man, it's, it's just layers. You gotta pull it off in layers, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go deep right here. I know there's deeper targets of dime right there. I know there's deeper targets here, but there's no way I can go deep. There's, no detector, no coil, no frequency, no amount of experience is going to be able to penetrate through all this crap right here. You gotta, you gotta do the diligence. You gotta get it layer by layer, right? Layer by layer. Really jumpy tone here. Right next to some foil here. Tone breaked out. There's some foil. Tone breaked it down to, to iron range. There's something else right here. A coin or something. Probably most likely a coin here. There's a bunch of ash here too. Charcoal. Oh boy. Hard ground here. It's a washer. Right there. It's a brass washer. Right there. See that? Right there? See? Right there? Right there? Right there? See? Bottle caps. Pick them up, man. Pick them up. Right. That one's some aluminum. I'll pick it up. I can't tell you how many freaking rings are in this park if you just work at it. If you work at it. There's another bottle cap right there. Right there. See that? I'll pick it up. My magnet's not working really very good right now, so. I'll just have to use my pin pointer here, right? Use my pin pointer. So I have to bend down, bend down all the way, right? My, um, my magnet on my shovel's not working very good today. I'll have to figure it out. Look at, all, look at all these bottle caps. It's covered. It's covered in bottle caps. Right here. See this? There. One right there. That one off to pop out right here. Right there. Pop it out. Another one right there. There's a full tab right there on the surface. Here's another. Bottle cap, right there. right there. Another bottle cap, right there. Check it. It's a plastic cap. Some foil here. Pick up the foil. All the bottle caps, they gotta come out, man. They gotta come out. There's a little bit of vomit right there. Yeah. No, it's not vomit. See, foil, just foil everywhere, man. Foil everywhere. So these targets are a little bit near the surface and they're really hard to get out right now because the ground is so hard. 
I'll be better off if I let them sink a little bit more here and the ground is wetter like in the, win in the winter time I can come through here and get these targets out really fast but I'm maintaining it I'm maintaining this area right here because I know I found jewelry in the spot here and there's lots of coins here next to barbecue picnic benches a stage you know You know, a few. Here's another bottle cap right here. Right here. If you talk to guys who, who've metal teched for many years, there's a common theme. You never freaking know what you're gonna dig out next. Dig it all. Maybe not all at once, you know. I didn't dig out a lot of targets here because I, it's really hard to extract my targets out right now. But I'm maintaining the spot for next time or maybe next year. You know, I've done that on many, many parks. The parks that you see me hunt in, I've been hunting in for years. I don't really have that great of parks to hunt in because they've been beat up for so long. You know, I'm I'm mainly after uh in, in most of the parks, I'm mainly after the rings and the jewelry near the surface. The deeper stuff, my detectors just don't hit on deeper stuff through my hot soiler. And the stuff really doesn't go that deep anyway. Um, you know, in spots like this here where there's so many bottle caps and foil and trash, it doesn't matter what you do you're not going to go six or seven inches deep through all this trash here it's just not going to happen no matter how many years experience you have right the guys who are just getting the hobby they want to just get the easy targets out right but once you hit a park all the easy targets are going to be gone right at least in my area you know i don't have a lot of parks in my town here um and we, there's a lot of metal detectors so they've been hit really hard but I go to the spots that are really trashy and that's where I find the most jewelry in the trashy spots because that's where guys really don't want to take the time to to hunt it um, they just want to get the easy targets out but eventually you know if you're if you live in a small city or if you don't really have that many places to hunt um, you're gonna have to start digging out those iffy tones and once you start digging those iffy tones you will freaking be surprised and you will start digging those more of those iffy tones you'll start to understand that you just got to dig everything maybe not all at once just space it out you know um because every day is different and i want to leave some targets for tomorrow or leave some targets for a different detector or a different frequency or a different coil you know so i can test my machines and see, compare them um but there's just no rhyme or reason to it you just got to dig the iffy targets out man in spots like this it only takes a few minutes to clean up the bottle caps here um, right now. And later on, if I wait another year or so, all those bottle caps will be in the ground. And I dig the bottle caps up, right? Because I've found so many rings underneath bottle caps or rings right next to bottle caps or a bracelet right next to a bottle cap. It's just, that's how it goes in trashy spots like this. You just have to dig them out. You'll be so you will be surprised how much stuff is underneath really trashy spots. You just got to work at it. And I know I will hunt this spot more and more and more um, because I know that there's jewelry in this area, right? I found jewelry in this area, especially right across here, right here, and right out here. I found a ring out there today. I found some jewelry around the stage, lots of coins, just coins everywhere out here. But I, there's just so many bottle caps and twist tops and pull tabs. You just gotta dig it out, right? You just gotta dig it out, man. This is the same park where Jim found that $3,000 gold ring with the half carat with 81 diamonds on it. Just right there, right there, right? And I found three rings in this park in the last two weeks right you just got to work at it you got to work at it you got to work at it you got to work at it well i want to learn from a person who has a lot of experience in a certain area like if i if i want to learn how to hunt at the beach um i, I want to learn from a person who hunts on the beach a lot and most of my videos are live digs that I, I have thousands of videos on YouTube 
that show me in that show me digging in parks and take it from me i have a lot of experience in parks and this is one of the tactics that I'm, I'm always doing i'm always cleaning up the ground cleaning up the surface because i know there's jewelry here i just need to work out it a little bit more here i'm not gonna i'm not gonna ask questions to a person um who uh if i want to learn how to hunt in parks i'm not gonna ask a person um questions who hunts at the beach mainly they just don't hunt and you know most of most of the time if you if you want to get some good information ask a person who has a lot of experience in that in that area you know um the the, the bench tests and stuff you know like foil over targets and stuff that only can go so far right you have to stabilize that machine every trashy area is different it has different types of trash on it so you have to be able to reject some of that stuff and still hit on you know the two or three four inch deep targets and it's a process just lower your discrimination or lower your tone break every time you go over it so you can get those lower conductive targets finally hit on some smaller targets and some jewelry right now i'm not gonna be able to hit on jewelry or necklaces or S small piece of jewelry right in this area because it's too trashy right now. I'll have to work on it for a little bit longer. Well, thank you for watching.